Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Brad. Go back to the channel. Go back to another video. Today we are doing something a little bit different and we're going to attempt to play Pokemon. Now, I haven't played the TCG in a very, very long time uh, since I was about, oh my god, what age would have been 11, I think, since I'd last, you know, had the cards and stuff. And I've played a little bit of, you know, online here and there and I thought, why not spice it up this weekend, see how well this does on the channel. Um, see if you guys enjoy, you know, just something a little bit different from Duel Links for a while, obviously kind of keeping along the same lines of being a collectible card game. But before we go into that, I just want to know that tomorrow's video is going to be a channel update hopefully. Hopefully I can get that out. I just wanted to let you know what's going on with the channel because I'm making a couple of changes to the content. Uh, don't worry, Duel Links and Legacy Duel and stuff isn't going away. I'm just just clarifying things and finally going to be 100% you know, getting down a schedule for when things are going to go up. But I'd like to thank Spatial Mewtwo, my friend Sam, for uh, providing me with a couple of codes for some... Uh, uh, is it Guardians Rising? Can I, can, I, can I go over here to... Guardians Rising, yes, some Sun and Moon Guardians Rising packs. So what we're going to do is we're going to open those first, see if we get anything good. And then I'm going to head into a PvP game and see how much I suck now. Uh, I believe you go to, is it Collection? I have no idea um, what's really in the Guardian Rising stuff. I haven't really kept up with the game in a while. Obviously I've uh, played a little bit of Sun and Moon, I haven't played uh, too much. But we have 14 packs. So uh, let's see if we can get at least someone good. Someone, God, that, that sounds like I'm, you know, trying to go for a character. Let's see if we can get, I don't think Piplup's in here. You can see Piplup's on my uh, overlay. I'm a big fan of Piplup. But we start with those water energies. Okay, I have no idea what's good. Is that, that's a reverse, isn't it? Yeah, that's a reverse Jangamo-O. Okay, and what's our rare? Or Heli Heliolisk? Okay. See, like, I, I have no clue about Pokemon. Like, if I get, like, a, a, a GX or something, then I'll be, you know, I'll be super happy. Okay, we've got, a, we've got double, is this double, does, it, does that mean this is double rare? First one. Is that a reverse? not. There, there's a reverse in the air. Reverse Oricurio. And... Comfy. I can't say I've heard of that one. No, I've, pl I've played Sun and Moon, but I haven't, uh, played through much of it, so I haven't seen a lot of the, uh, lot of the Pokemon. We've got a reverse Geodude. Was Geo... Oh, it's a lone Geodude. Okay, I was about to say, why is Geodude electric? And... Honchcrow. Okay, that's, that's a... I, rem I remember that one. I remember that one at least. Dark Energy. Okay, we got... Is that the stage one? Yeah, okay, this Murkrow is the basic form of a uh, Honchkrow, isn't it? And our rare... Lunala, okay, this is the, uh, this is the cover card of Moon. The cover legendary, so that, it's a bit not hype, but it's not like a, you know, a super good card to get, I guess. It's not, it's like a GX or anything. Machamp, reverse, that looks really nice. I, I must say that, like, the one thing I like about Pokemon cards is just their art. Like, they have, they can do so many things with the art because obviously they're just limited to, like, the certain characters, but they can do it in so many different art styles, which is... Absolutely crazy, and our rare is a... What the heck is this? Salazzle. Okay. So, this is all new for me. We've already gone through six of the packs. Well, there we go. Alone and Volpix, one of my favourite Alone and Forms from, uh, from Sun and Moon. And our rare is a... Ooh! Wishy Washy GX. I was talking with Sam, special Mewtwo, who gave me this, uh, this pack, th these packs earlier. This guy's really good, especially because he's a basic. So I might, I might have to put him in my uh, in my water deck, which is a deck that I'm, I am running water because it's, I haven't got pip up on this game, which is really annoying for me. But uh, our next one's another Helios, got a duplicate, our first duplicate rare we've got. Chop, a fairy. Oh, okay, double rares again. Rayquaza, nice, and. Oricurio. Okay, Rayquaza is... Is that any good? Turbo Storm. Att attach two basic energy cards from a discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. That's pretty good. And then Dragon Claw does 80, but it's only one. It's only 120. That doesn't seem that bad. And a Gitch Cage. One rare this time. Garbodor, okay. 
Let's see. And double rare again. Reverse Waylord, okay. And what's this one? Another, oh, another Slazzle, really? Come on, three packs left, or four. I'm not sure whether it counts the one you're opening as one on that counter. A nubble dub, another, a nubble? Another one. <laughs> Sharpedo. <laughs> and what's this? Turtonator. Okay. Boy slap, if you head, your opponent's opponent was now paralyzed. Oh, see, that's. That to me is better than Rayquaza. At least that's what I think. From reading that. Two rares, okay. A swallow, and can we get another GX? Or Ori Korea again. Is this our last pack? What is that? Got it, okay. And our rare is a Proba Pass. Okay. Okay. Now this is our last pack. Here we go. And will we get a GX to end on? We do. Oh my god, what is that? Como, Como OGX, 240 HP. Adamantine Press, that deals 30. Shredder's 130, upper, Ultra Uppercut GX deals 240. That's, that's pretty sick. So two GX cards out of 14 packs. I think that's good odds. But uh, let's go. I believe Versus is, uh, is how you get into a match. Uh, my deck name is Pliz. Let's see how we do. Tenshi Project is running a colorless and fire deck. Okay, so we got our... Um, is that our weakness or our thing? Just I, I think we're strong against fire. Tenshi is calling the coin flip. But I don't see any animation. There we go. I won the coin flip. Would I like to go first? No, I I want to deal some damage straight off, especially because I have that uh, advantage. I think. Ooh, your opponent no basic. I want. I will take a mulligan after you set up to play. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go with. We we'll go magic up just because it deals the most damage outright, and then obviously we'll set uh, two focus on our bench. You have noticed your Pokemon to start on your bench. Select down to continue down. I guess in my first time playing online, because I did quick match, and I believe that just puts you against a random AI. Your opponent has no basic Pokemon, a must draw a new hand. Look at their hand, it's like done. He's running water energies, okay. Okay, weaknesses against water, nice. What a what a uh, a deck to come up against with or come up against on our uh, on our first duel or match, I guess. But 25 minute timer for this duel. I hope it doesn't go that long. <laughs> I really don't want to render out a 35 minute video. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to draw a card. And yeah, we're, we're putting Articuno on the bench. Yeah, that's uh. Plus we got... Cherry, which lets us draw three as well. So we uh should be okay for our hand. But let's see what this guy does. He's got nothing in his bench either. I want, is, it, is it because he... Because he has to mulligan, does that mean he can't put stuff in his bench prior to the game starting? And he can only put a... Uh, Rescue Scar, okay. I didn't get to read that at all, but you know. If the Pokemon this card is attacking, okay. Let me read stuff. Look at the top of cards you take, you may reveal a trainer card you find there and put it into your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck, okay. Putting one energy on Tepig. What does that belt do? Okay, trainer draw cards, so you have six in your hand, nice. And now you have to end, doesn't he? Because you can only play one trainer and one support. Is it one trainer per turn, and then you can play multiple supports? I think. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to remember the rules. What's he? Okay, so I got a uh, chicory. Uh, and not chicory. Is that chicory? Uh? No, Torchic, Sorry, and a Fennekin. Okay. Starts from multiple eras here. here so, uh, what does this thing do? This belt. Well, it's a rescue scarf. If the Pokemon is attached to is knocked out by damage and attack, put the Pokemon into your hand. Okay. That's not bad at all. We'll do double damage, so we will one hit him out of there. 
if we use Magikarp, which isn't bad at all. Gonna play our uh, our Cheren support just to draw three. Ooh. Seismitoad EX. Yeah, you're you're going in the uh, in the thing. Obviously, Gyarados we can uh, evolve at some point. Wait, what was that? Ah, oh, damn it! Magikarp has that. I thought it was something different. I should have probably gone with uh with Froakie to be fair, but at least we'll be able to uh, get it into a Gyarados on this next turn, I think. That's a bit annoying, because now we can do is it thirty to me? Yeah, you can do roll roll on do twenty, which uh isn't very good, because uh damage counters carry across evolutions. Right, my turn. So we can evolve Magikarp into a Gyarados. <laughs> and now this guy has Berserker Splash that deals 8. So we're going to keep powering you up. Might not be the best idea. Uh, we should probably, you know... We can take a couple of hits because he'll most likely evolve Tepig. I'm guessing. Because once he does that, if he evolves Tepig then... If I knock that out, he'll go back to his hand, which is a benefit for him. Pokemon Catcher. Flip a coin if heads one. Switch one of your bench Pokemon with your opponent wants active Pokemon. Of course, it's heads. So, who do we really want out? Um, oh, no, okay. He has to choose, doesn't he? Okay. He's going to go for Froakie. 100%. You're going to go for the weakest one. Yep. That's still not bad. Um, we can deal some damage if we decide to put, uh, put some energy on him. But I'm not, I don't think I'm running many trainers or supporters, which is why uh, we've got a full bench right now, and he doesn't. I think I might need to change up. Okay, Bianca again joins you. You have six cards in your hand. That seems to be a very popular one. Because I guess you could have one card and then gain f it'd be a draw five, basically. Again, for another 20 damage on this guy. Okay. Right. See, I could go for, you know, I'm, I'm going to power up Gyarados. I'm going to I'm gonna let Froki die. Unless we draw into uh, his evolution. Which I can't remember what it is. And I don't even know if I have it in this deck. I thought it was Greninja. It might be Greninja. But... I can't remember whether I have it. He's just gonna keep, yeah, he's gonna keep using rollout. So if we just let Froakie die this turn, but we just keep powering up our uh, our benched Pokemon. So as soon as Froakie goes, we can bring out Gyarados, and then we can do some do some damage with that. What are you putting this back? Is that Entei? That is Entei. Okay, one twenty HP. Burning World, so our top four cards your deck. If any of those are energy cards, attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. That's kind of ridiculous. Jesus, Combat Blaze. 20 damage plus 20 more damage for each of my opponent's bench Pokemon. So that would be 120 damage immediately. Not sure why you wouldn't put energy on that and try and power that up. But uh, there goes our first Froki. Which means we can get out Gyarados. But Tenji does get access to a a prize card. I think that's what they're called. Vehicle prize cards. Samurai, okay. Uh, let's. Oh, I forgot to turn off notifications. Uh, let's put Tenji on you and then. No, go away! And then use uh, Berserker Splash. Just 10 damage to each. Whoa, okay. Obviously, it's double thing, isn't it? So. Oh, Blastless EX! I was wondering why I had that in the thing. Um, because the uh, last dose is a uh, it is an evolution, but I completely didn't realize that the EX form I had was a uh, basic. I should really turn my notifications off, but uh, I don't want to interrupt the game. And okay, he's using rollout. You can deal twenty. Your guy is getting hit again. Um. <laughs> I'm going to hit you. Hit you again for that. 
It is a shame that it doesn't do uh, weakness and resistance, because then we'd be completely destroying uh, this guy right now. But uh, I just don't want to deal that much damage. I mean, oh, see, this guy, he's got one turn. Like, oh, that's the thing. He's got one turn, basically. He puts an energy onto uh, Entei. Use Burning Roar. Is it Burning Roar? Use Burning Roar. Gets up to four energies onto Entei. He'll throw damage case. He's going to end. Okay. You know, I, I could put my final energy on Gyarados and wipe out Entei. Aquatail. Flip a coin for each water energy attached to this card. This does... Okay, so we have to switch. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to switch with, obviously, Seismitoad. Yeah. Our big motherfucking frog. Is is gonna be our uh, our main guy for now, but I can see why you do that. That's good. Okay, Fisherman gets to put four disc, four basic energies. I can see why you do that because you're immediately gonna be able to start one hitting the majority of my guys because you'll be able to do is it thirty damage, like thirty extra damage, and he's got rescue scarf as well. Is it 20 more damage for each of my things? So it's going to deal 120 damage to anyone he hits, which is going to immediately wipe out everyone. So there's a bit of a downside to uh to me filling up my uh my bench. Bit of a stupid idea, but lesson learned. Right. Is this thing? Do I? What is, it? is this 180? This is 180. Okay, so I can put you on there. What does Grenade Hammer do? This attack does 30 damage to two of your bench Pokemon. Oh. Can I choose them? I can. So I'm going to go for Lapras and Articuno. Sorry, guys. Just want to toot them. There you go. Yep. All right, let's take that bottom one. A Magic Harp. Okay. Not very useful anymore since we have got access to Gyarados already, but. We can, we can knock out Entei with Gyarados. No, we can't. Because I didn't put energy on it, damn it. Um, huh. So at this point, I'd really like a, a trainer card to let me draw three cards. Please, uh, Pokemon Company. Just, just give me a... Give me a thing. But we'll survive, actually, no, we'll survive this one. We, unless he plays... Something to boost my, or boost his thing. We'll survive that. By 20, Jesus, okay. Right, yeah, so we're gonna... We're gonna have to grenade hammer the... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, guy. I'm sorry, guys. Grenade hammer them. We're getting there. Because he now... Yes, he has Entei back, but he can still only do one energy per turn. Um, obviously Torchic can not knock out Seismitoad. It can only do 10 if he decides to put a thing on anyway, which if he'd be kind of stupid to do because it's going to get knocked out anyway, so it'd just be a waste of a fire energy. But let's see, what are you going to do, Tenchi Project? Or Tenchi Project, sorry, with a 3. You know this guy's a badass if he has a numbers in his name. Come on dude, it's not that it's not that hard to work to you know to work out what to do. You've got what six seven, seven cards in your hand? You've got to at least have one energy in there. Okay, he's putting it on Entei again. Smart move. Right, okay, two energy. Right, two energy on hand. So let's Let's start powering up Blastoise. Because he's got our least amount of damage to him. Now This is double this is double water thing. So we're we're gonna use the Quaking Punch. Because that's gonna deal 60. It's gonna knock him out. And we're not gonna take any damage to any of our bench Pokemon, which is what we want, otherwise we'd be uh, 
we'd be cutting it very close, we'd be getting rid of Articuno and Lapras. Only thing is, Entei can now deal, if he puts another energy on, he can deal 120. Uh, which is fine because we can deal... Ooh, what the hell is that? Camerupt, nice. I think. Oh, I, I don't know what set that's from because I definitely remember that artwork. That's de I've definitely seen that before. Okay, one. Yep, yeah, one twenty. Okay, choose a Pokemon to be an active Pokemon. I'm going to choose. Right. I could choose Blastoise. I could use Gyarados. Blastoise would do less. Now let's do Gyarados because I think I can. Uh, I can put one more energy on and I can win. Assuming this attack works. Come on. One. Two. Okay, there we go. Easy. Easy. What's that? 360 damage. Jesus Christ. And we have won our first online multiplayer match with a deck that I made like in five to ten minutes. I've got a wheel spinny thing. Okay, we're well, one coin. That's incredible. Oh, okay. Probably over fifty coins. Okay, that was a uh, that was a nice a nice bonus reward. Okay, cool. So you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. It's a bit of a change from Duel Links, I know. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. See you then.